Good afternoon. It is a 3 January 2005. I'm about halfway through my uh, ride in central New Mexico. Today out on a brisk uh, winter day. My first ride of the year. Uh, today is the day that I do a solo ride every year. Uh, 3 January 2022. 3 January is just a date that uh, that I have to do on my own. And uh, get some wind therapy. So uh, I'm out on the FTRS today. It's about between 30 and 35 degrees depending on where I'm at. I'm just south of Santa Fe right now and it is a uh, gorgeous day. So uh, what could be potentially a negative is, uh, is a positive for me because I get to be home um, in, in my country in the United States of America, greatest country on earth, uh, riding an American motorcycle my uh, Indian FTRS uh, used to ride my Harley, but uh, finally got myself on an Indian. Have gone over to uh, the uh, dark side, so to speak. Uh, so this is my first Indian. I've had it for about five months, uh, coming up on a 5,000 mile service. Have thoroughly enjoyed the bike. Like uh, any vehicle, it's not perfect. There. Uh, are some things that I would like uh, to have better on the bike, like a little bit more fuel in the tank, but uh, I average between 38 and uh, 45 miles to the gallon, depending on how I'm riding. Today I'm getting about, probably an average of 42 miles to the gallon. I'm not riding super hard. Uh, it's about 30, 35 degrees, like I said, and the bike's doing fantastic. So uh, there's my Indian coming up on uh, 5,000 miles. Next week I'll be Taking it in for his 5,000 mile service. Almost done paying it off. Have uh, two more payments to make and then uh, then my wife and I both own it. I ride it, but uh, she's a, uh, we're an old fashioned uh, married couple in that uh, it's all community property. We've been together now for 28 years coming up on that in two, two weeks uh, when I first uh, started dating the missus so uh today uh i'm out here on, on my own i gotta do today by myself so uh i'll just do another uh circle around the bike here i'm doing some gopro i don't know if i can shoot it in the video i may i don't want to make the video too long but here i am central new mexico on the indian uh the other American motorcycle company and uh, extremely happy with uh, with Indian Motorcycle. Indian of Albuquerque has been fantastic and uh, I'm so happy with Indian the uh, motorcycle company that uh, my next bike is actually going to be an Indian. My wife and I are buying a touring bike. We'll be on a Roadmaster uh, riding to Sturgis. Hopefully if uh, the supply chain doesn't uh, mess with us too bad. We'll be riding to Sturgis on uh, Indian Roadmaster uh, here in a few months. My wife's already actually uh, gotten a hold of a cabin for us to rent uh, outside of uh, Deadwood. So uh, we're excited about going back to Sturgis. And then in 2023, we'll be riding to uh, Daytona for Daytona Bike Week. Uh, last time we were in Daytona was in 2004, right before I went to Fort Bragg and before I left to Afghanistan. Uh, so with that, uh, this is like I said, midway point through my ride, but uh, I will uh, probably be using this as the intro to uh, the video. Uh, hopefully I didn't blab on too long. Hope everybody's having a good new year probably going to be another crazy year but uh you know uh for those of us on two wheels we mind our own business and uh the rona hasn't slowed any of us down so uh with that ride safe if you're on two wheels uh espinoza out
remember the sacrifice that these men have made. Let it not be in vain. Damage is no fun to say to men that you love. Go out and get killed. We've had the same. And by God, they have gone. And they have won. This will close out the uh, video for my 3 January 2022 ride. My first ride of uh, 2022 was a solo. Great ride today. And every time I ride this bike, I uh, I love it more and more. Definitely more than satisfied with uh, Indian motorcycles. And uh, as I said before, next bike is going to be an Indian. But got pretty dirty today, so I'll take it over and pressure wash it tomorrow if uh, the temperature is above freezing. Today, my ride, generally my temps were uh, in the mid-30s, but uh, unlike what I've heard of the first generation uh, Indians, when I started up this bike this morning for the ride, we were in the 20s, bike started up just fine. Um, like any cold uh, start even for a vehicle um, all I did was I just pressed the uh, start button I just pressed the start button once it took about two seconds for the engine to kick in and uh, actually start up so that was the only thing that's a different from uh, you know warmer weather and the uh, summer starts where it starts almost immediately so it just you know Wind a little bit, and then the engine uh, kicked on. But uh, I only had to press a button once, and at 20 degrees, bike started up just fine. It ran perfect today. Um, as far as uh, the uh, cold weather and uh, the uh, little bit of ice and uh, melting snow on the road, that's why the bike's so dirty. And uh, I'm hoping to be able to get it over and uh, wash off the debris from today since... Uh, they salted the roads heavily over the weekend with the uh, snow that we got here in the uh, north central part of New Mexico. It wasn't a lot of snow, but uh, being that it doesn't snow here very often, it was a lot of snow. 
So unlike when I was a kid, when it used to snow quite a bit uh, in the 70s, it doesn't snow very much anymore since uh, we've been back home for 10 years. And uh, with that, um, do a short ride tomorrow. Today was kind of a short ride. It was, let me see what I got. I think I only did just over 100 miles. <sighs> Hundred twenty one miles. That's what I did today. Um and uh I only filled up once. So uh the average of the fuel on this this one today I think it was forty three, almost forty four miles to the gallon. And uh there were some parts where I opened it up. I mean I've taken this bike it's supposed to be governed at 124 miles and a week ago when I rode on Christmas Eve, I got it up to about 128, and then it's not because the motorcycle went and go any faster. I just uh, I let off the gas at 120. At least that's what the uh, speedometer was marking on the on the on the bike 128. Today I only got up to about I think the fastest I went today was about 112 miles an hour is what I saw. Um, the bike is pretty sprightly. There's my Buell right there. I need to I need to get these in the shed. My shed's a mess. Um, so I need to, uh, I need to clean this up probably tomorrow, park the Indian in here, get the Buell more under the cover. Right now, until I finish this shed, this is what I got to sail, keeping the, uh, <clears throat> the weather out. Lots of projects to do. I'm hoping I get a lot of the stuff done this, uh, spring, a little bit at a time. And, uh, with that, uh, Looks like I've got a little too much talking going on. I'll probably edit some of this out. Great ride today. 121-mile uh, ride through uh, northern northern New Mexico. Um, went just south of Santa Fe. I think I got up to 40 degrees. But generally, it was about 35, 36 degrees the whole way. The closest I got was 30 degrees further up here in the north. Um, had a good ride. 3 January, my first ride of the season. And uh, the Indian did great. Love this bike. I've had it for five months. Two more payments and it's paid off. Uh, next week or the week after, I think, is when I go get the 5,000 mile service. So I've been putting about 1,000 miles a month on it. It's my daily rider. Um, so riding it here in the cold weather, I got cold weather gear, got heated gloves. Heated gloves are doing fine with the bike. And the uh, I ordered the bike with the heated grips is how I got it and the windscreen protects me from the neck down in terms of the uh, wind buffering um, so I get a lot in the head but uh, that's no big deal um, it protects my chest my torso so I'm pretty happy with uh, paying the extra money for the windshield I'm still waiting on the uh, Rizoma mirrors I ordered those when I ordered the bike back in March and uh, they're still not here bike got here in July with everything um, as I had said before I got the bike with the heated grips um, the uh, windscreen and the luggage rack and then I also ordered the Rizoma mirrors but those have not come in oh and I also ordered the um, <clears throat> I ordered the uh, phone mount but I haven't put it on yet because the uh, Indian website would not allow me to order the Rizoma mirrors with that, but they told me at the Indian dealership that they should fit. I have not taken it out of the box in case they don't work in the Rizoma mirrors. And I'll get, you know, 60 bucks credit or 60 bucks back if they don't work. I'm hoping they work because it's better than this generic one that is doing okay so far from uh, Amazon. Um... I'm probably going to see if I can get aftermarket um, levers for the bike because the only one that's adjustable is the uh, clutch one. I mean the brake, and uh, it's okay with the with how much it adjusted it. But I'd like to get uh, it to where I can also have adjustable uh, levers on uh, the clutch. 
uh, the clutch lever. So I'm probably going to try to see if I can find some aftermarkets that I can put on there. If not, it's no big deal. It's not. These ain't bad, um, including the unadjustable one. I do like the way Harley Davidson with the um, Sportster S and I believe also the Pan America. They did have adjustables on both of them. And they adjust a lot further, I think, than the uh, than this one on the Indian, which this is the adjustment on the Indian right here. And the ones on the Harley Davidson are more conventional, like what you find aftermarket run a lot of sport bikes, which is what I have on the Buell. <clears throat> um, probably uh, hit my uh, buddy up, Dennis, with a Sportster S here in the next few weeks to a uh, couple of weeks to see if he wants a ride. He got... I don't think he has any wind protection on his. I don't think he's getting the uh, windscreen on his bike. He might. I don't know. Other than that, uh, for now, um, hope you all are riding safe. Hope your 2022 is starting out good. And uh, those of you on two wheels, as I said before, you know, it's no big deal for us with uh, this garbage going on with the uh, Rona. I'm on my own business. I ride my bike and uh, do my own thing and uh what better way to social distance or whatever you want to call it or be by yourself than on a bike um and with that uh espinoza out